I can't believe that God is such a wimp. I'm sure that's probably not an adjective that you've used in your lifetime to describe God. Most of us don't refer to God as a wimp. And yet, as a youth, well, I think it was when I was a youth, it was the time, at least in my life, when I was finally actually starting to, like, pay attention when the gospel readings were read at Mass. Some might say that that didn't happen for me until I was ordained. But nonetheless, I digress. So whenever it was that I started actually paying attention to the, the gospel readings read at Mass, I, I can remember this gospel reading specifically, and I kept thinking to myself, I can't believe God is such a wimp. I mean, even my mother is stronger than God is. After all, I have tried the approach of badgering my mother over and over again, pleading with her for something that I want, and she doesn't budge. <laughs> she never gives in. Why? Because she had ten of us who were badgering her day after day after day. But she was resolute. She was firm. She didn't give in to our wants or our desires. But it seems... It seems that the gospel is suggesting that God is kind of wimpy. He, he gives in to the, to the persistent widow who keeps badgering him over and over and over again. At least it seems, upon listening to this gospel parable, that it's a parable about the persistency of prayer and that if we, if we badger God long enough, if, if we wear God down, eventually, eventually he'll give us what we, well, what we want. Well, my friends, if that's what we think the parable is about, we are badly mistaken because today's gospel parable is not about prayer at all. It's about justice. The parable, if you listen carefully, is about justice. It's what the relentless widow is about. Because you see, the relentless widow stands as the image of God for us in this parable. Powerless. Widows in the time of our Lord Jesus Christ, were powerless. They had absolutely nothing. They no longer had a husband to be able to defend their cause, to stand up for them, a husband who had all of the rights and the powers that went with that family unit. And so all of a sudden here stands a, a widow who is without any power at all. But she... She is demanding what? Justice. She wants to be heard. She is seeking justice against her adversary. And so she keeps pleading and pleading and pleading her call, cause. We hear in the Psalms that the Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the powerless. So today in the gospel parable, the relentless widow stands as the image of God. I was right. God is a wimp. Because God chose to become powerless. He chose to become like the relentless widow who stands on our behalf and through the power of, the, of, the, of death, he destroyed it through his powerlessness upon which he chose to hang upon a cross. To be, why, like, to be vulnerable for everyone. And he did it because he wanted justice. Justice for you and for me. Justice so that you and I might know the power that comes with forgiveness, with the promise of salvation, justice that comes to us through his willingness to extend compassion and mercy to all who seek it. God became powerless through his son, Jesus Christ. And through that 
powerlessness, why then you and I were restored and justice was given. But you and I are called, by virtue of this parable then, to recognize that we too must become, because we too are images of God, that we too must become like the, why we must become like the persistent widow. People oftentimes, like ourselves, who lack the power that we think is needed to change the structures and the systems of our society and our church today that are destructive and that are systems and structures of injustice. And oftentimes we try to let ourselves off the hook thinking, well, that is something that we have no control or power over, and so therefore we just ignore it. Or worse, yes, we, worse yet, we become apathetic to the injustices that are happening in our own town, in our own community, in our own country, and certainly in our own world. So you and I need to be persistent like the widow is, even though we think ourselves, and indeed perhaps we are powerless, that we are wimps, we need to be mindful of the fact that we need to keep speaking out. We need to keep demanding justice for children, for their security and for their well-being. We need to keep shouting out for justice and security for immigrants who desire a place that they can call home to be able to raise a family with security and confidence and knowing that violence will not be theirs. We need to keep calling out like the relentless widow and be persistent in our message in recognizing that there needs to be an end to all forms of division and hatred and racism that we experience in our own time and in our own country today. We need to be persistent in calling out to the Lord our God, who we are told in the parable today by our Lord, a God, when it comes to justice, who will act speedily. But you and I are called this day to join with our Lord in our powerlessness and to lift our voices and to speak out, to be the relentless, persistent widow, so that God might hear our plea and that justice might be won.